if he needs to, we can. Hey. I don't recommend that about two inches so off the mic. Yeah. Just, um, well, now, you're, now you're blocking down. Yeah. I can't see Just, where. No. no. The, the, I always yeah. end up there we uh, go. pulling them So I'll closer. just drop. I heard this went straight into that. Mm -hmm. I might just stand back. I don't really. I don't. Yeah, that's fine. I don't. I don't usually sit right back there. down in chairs. Right there. Because right there. Sarah was doing a a. Uh, no, don't say that. An ad. He was. And right. I, my we, chair we had live, issues when I sat down, and everybody started giggling. Hello, we are, we are live on Facebook. Oh, We've already thank got five you. people joining okay. us. Okay. So here we're going to go live here in uh, 11 seconds. Thank you, everybody, for joining us live on uh, Instagram and Facebook and Twitch. Now, I Four, can't see who's coming on. Three, so you're going to be better about thanking two, them. one. Welcome to the second hour of Real Estate State Talk. Friends, I got to learn how to talk. I'm your host, Willie Lambright. This is the Floors to Go Texas show, along with my friend Thera Williams, over 40 years in the business. And I'll tell you anything you want to learn about your home in terms of flooring, carpet, you name it, stay with me for the next hour and you'll be better off than when you joined us. Welcome to the studio, Dana. Thank you for having me. We have, welcome to the studio, Mr. Floripedia, Mr. Thera Williams. Thank you very much. How you doing, bud? Very good. Very good to well. see you this Saturday night. Thank you. You know, we got a great guest in the studio and, and she was very confident, used to be on radio herself. Uh, but I want to welcome to the studio Miss B.J. Wilson from a great company called Fabrica, and I'm sure you've heard of it. Today we're going to talk about wool rugs. Welcome, dear. Thank you so much. It's good to be here. Yeah, it's good to have you. Um, Theral. Yes, sir. You guys are giving a rug away. you got to go out to 5212 Airport Freeway in Halton City. Just go down 183 like you're going to Fort Worth. You'll see them on the left-hand side, floors to go. Great company. But I'll tell you, normally you would say a room without a rug is like a kiss without a hug. Still want to say that. You'll get an 8 by 10 rug, wool rug. rug. But Fabrica is giving you one when you go in and say the same thing. Is Fabrica is fabulous. <laughs> yeah, just one rug. The first person to do that. So make sure you go to 5212 Airport Freeway. By the way, their phone number is 817-710-7030. Let's talk some wool, wool rugs, Daryl. Okay, well, first of all, let me introduce uh, BJ again. Uh, she is from Fabrica. It is a manufacturer of uh, broad loom carpet, and that means 12 foot wide, and also area rugs. And her company makes also nylon rugs as well as wool. Uh, and both broad loom and uh, rugs and, and nylon and wool. She's a registered uh, licensed interior designer here in the state of Texas and she's been a rep for Fabrica for eight years. And uh, she worked in hand tufted for a hand tufted manufacturer uh, for several years specializing in high-end uh, aviation and marine carpet for the flooring industry. And, uh, excuse me, for the flooring industry she also was a manager of a retail uh, flooring company similar to ours uh, that operates and has a showroom and uh, salesmen and people that work under, underneath her. So we're really happy, glad to have her here today because we do want to specifically talk about wool, but also <clears throat> her company, Fabrica, <clears throat> the national sales manager, gave us a rug to give away that really all they have to do is come into the store the first person in. We only have one of these rugs. <laughs> It's not like my other rug, but this is this is one rug we're going to give away. It's a special rug. I've seen it. We have it there at the at the uh, at, at our showroom to be able to view. But it's called uh, it's Fabrica style. It's a five by eight rug, and all you have to do is say Fabrica is fabulous. I'm on my way to the store right now. I think I go down 121, Donna. You can. Uh, uh, and, uh, all right. And I'll see when the show's over. But I'll forward. be standing at the door. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay. 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 Uh, <laughs> I tried that. It didn't work. But yeah. Okay. <laughs> so uh, with uh, with that, uh, I'm going to let BJ talk a little bit about the company when it was started and uh, about the quality of her company. Tell us about that. Sure. Thanks, Daryl. Um, Fabrica was started in 1974. We are a California mill, so our mill is in California, which is a little bit unusual in the carpet industry. Many of them are in Georgia. 
Mm -hmm. um, so all along, we have been focused on quality. As a matter of fact, our tagline is quality without compromise. When we initially started, we um, focused on the interior design and the architectural market only. Um, as a matter of fact, initially, that's the only way you could get Fabrica carpet was purchasing it through an interior designer or an architect. I thought that. Mm -hmm. Since then, um, we have now moved into the retail markets as well. And so we have a little bit broader spectrum uh, than we initially did, but still have uh, somewhat limited distribution just because our carpet is so special that um, we don't want to just flood it everywhere. And it looks special. It's outstanding. Nice looking. So um, very, uh, very high quality. Essentially, we do a lot of things the old fashioned way. Um, we use the best raw materials that are available for manufacturing carpet and the best manufacturing techniques just to come up with truly quality product. Can you tell me, uh, VJ, when you say the best raw quality material, give me an example. What is that? Well, for example, on our wool products, um, we use only wools of New Zealand wool. Uh -huh. And you may think that all wool is equal, but it's really not. So we use the finest quality wool uh, for the carpet industry when we're making our wool products. Yeah, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, you know, we've you know, we, we've learned as we've uh, studied with uh, BJ, and then the industry. Uh, just like she said, you think all wool is the same, but really you have sheep have different DNA. Yes, they have a DNA of a sheep, but it, it's kind of like different breeds of horses. Yeah, uh, you know, different breeds of horses look different uh -huh. and behave differently, and so the sheep are the they're the sheep's. Uh, the wool that they produce, that fiber, is uh, genetically different. Well, if you think about it, I think about dogs because I'm a dog lover, but a um, golden retriever has different hair than a poodle. Yes. Um, same thing with sheep. Different breeds of sheep um, have different wool types. Some of it's very coarse, some of it's very silky, some is uh, quite curly and short, some is very long. Mm -hmm. So um, different types of sheep produce wool. Um, all of it's good. It just depends on what you're going to use it for. You're not going to use the same type of wool to make a fine wool suit that you want to use for carpet because the need is different. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So um, what about uh, the, uh, the different types of color choices that you all have in wools? Um, we have an extremely broad color palette for wool. If you've ever really looked at wool broadloom, you've typically got about nine to 12 colors and they're beige and now there may be some grays thrown in, but all pretty light neutral colors. Um, color at Fabrica is very important to us and we offer, uh, we actually have a couple of products where we even have 48 color choices in our wool carpet. Wow. Plus, we can even um, custom color some of them. So from that standpoint, we're kind of like the paint store. If you have um, a beautiful <laughs> blue uh, fabric for your draperies and you want to match your carpet exactly to that, you can give us a small piece of the uh, drapery fabric and we can match that for you. Y'all ought to partner with Sherwin-Williams. <laughs> <laughs> be a great merging of companies. Uh, if you're just joining us, our friend B.J. Wilson from Fabrica, she's been there for eight years, really has forgotten more about wool products than we'll ever know. Um, Theral, I'm, I mean, I'm going down all this stuff right here. Uh, what is a green label plus deer? Can, can you tell me that? Sure. Um, Green Little Plus has uh, to do with the VOCs emitted from a carpet. Well, well, let me Speak stop. English. Okay. <laughs> okay. Most of our uh, radio audience don't know what VOCs are. Can you tell us? Uh, yes. Volatile Organic Compound is what VOC stands for. So essentially, it's going to be um, off-gassing. Um, as you know, that when uh, new products are manufactured, there is often um, some sort of off-gassing. And uh, the Carpet and Rug Institute, which is essentially the governing body of the carpet uh, industry, has established standards uh, for that. And Fabrica meets the highest standards that they have uh, set up in regard to that. 
So you'll get much less, um, much have much less difficulty with that with our carpet than many. Wow. Wow. Um, I'm getting ready to have to go to break here. If you're just joining us, this is the Floors to Go Texas show, one of the greatest shows of all time. Uh, Thero Williams got over 40 years in the carpet, in the tile, in the flooring business, you name it. This guy, is, he, he knows what he's doing. 817-710-7030. 817-710-7030. Or you can drive out to 5212 Airport Freeway. You go down 121 like you headed to Fort Worth, and you'll see them on the left-hand side. I think I said 183 a while ago, but it's been a long day. Uh, I stand to be corrected. Now, here's what we're going to do. When we come back from break, uh, we're going to continue to talk wolves. And yeah, we're going to tell you, uh, we're going to go into great detail about, the, the, you know, I got a little snippet of it about, you know, the breeding of sheep and how they're different <laughs> and correlation of horse. And, but it makes all sense to me. I'm, I'm, I'm really intrigued by this next te segment. Stick around. More to go with Floors to Go, Texas show. We'll be back in a Willie Scotia. Okay, uh, we've got over 36 folks that have joined us. Uh, we also have some folks uh, just joining us now on YouTube. I haven't checked Twitch. I have my piece of paper back there. Nice. We're glad to have everybody out there. Yeah. Any of our regulars out there today, Kate? Yes. Uh, Natalie's out there. Kristen has joined us. Nice. And Natalie well, and welcome, Kristen. Kristen. And uh, welcome. James has joined us. I know I saw that on there. So, James. Uh, mm -hmm. And... Uh, yeah, that's all we got so far. Nice. Fantastic. Any questions uh, we need to answer? Uh, 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 just are you 183 or 121? Thank <laughs> <laughs> you for the correction. Uh, that's, that's called being a human being and the host has had a long day. I do apologize. It is awful 121. If you're going towards Fort Worth, you look to your left. If you're going out of Fort Worth, you look to the right. Let's there say you that go, right. Hey, I have a little announcement here. This is Lay it okay. on me. Well, uh, just prior to us walking in the studio here and settling in, a man walked in our store, I'm getting this through text messages, excuse me, that a man walked in our store and said a room without a rug is like a kiss without a hug. Oh, when I wasn't there. And, and he, heard oh. it, he, he heard it over 200 miles out. He, he said he heard it 200 miles out while driving. He's moving here from California to settle in Texas. Wow. I thought you were going to tell me a guy walked in my store <laughs> with a gun. Uh oh. No. <laughs> Good. That's great news. <laughs> It did almost sound like a joke. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. I was. A guy walked and, uh, in the we store. We want to thank Shelton, uh, who just joined us. Nice. Thank you, thank you for checking in. No, rock on, Shelton. Yeah, uh, I wasn't there to do the confetti. You know I like to do that. Really? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have the confetti out from when he said the room without a rug. It's like awesome. A awesome. Well, I'll tell you, we thank all the Facebookers. All the YouTube guys, that's that's Texas side of the, the coin over here. But we're about to go back on the air, and we're really going to get extensive about a wool product. And, you know, what you as a homeowner should know when it comes to buying wool rugs. Now, are they in your store? Absolutely. Fabrica? We, yes, we have yes. a full line of Fabrica products well, in our store, well, let's, both nylon and wool. And uh, they're very beautiful and when we get back on the air, I want to tell people that th these color choices are actually quite incredible because I have other lines of wool in the store, and you flip through these cards, and they'll have, like she said, 10 or 12, maybe 15 colors at the max. Maybe. And they're all beige, beige, and double beige, <laughs> and a couple of grays. And a lot of them are just out of naturals because they're, they're not good at, at dyeing them. Yeah. It's difficult to dye the wool in a lot of rich colors and get them to come out in a special way. A clarification is requested of all the services that you provide at the store. Okay. So I would just say to your listening audience, yes, we're talking about Fabrica today. However, we also do countertops. We also do... Yes. Oh. You told me to do that now or later? Yes. Yeah. They're, they're asking okay. about it. Well, uh, for you, all you folks on social media, the other, the other services we have is that we... We, we, we sell and service hardwood floors, different types of engineered, nail down, sand and finish. We do all types of tile and porcelain tile. And uh, we do all kinds of uh, luxury vinyl uh, resilient or vinyl uh, planking tile. 
and um, we also do beautiful uh, area rugs. Yes, we we can do beautiful area rugs. Fabrica rugs. rugs. We can do Fabrica. Fabrica yeah, rugs. they're beautiful. It, it basically, over eighty colors. You know basically, you if it goes on the floor, we can do it, and we uh, also can uh, service their countertop needs for. Um, quartz and, and uh, granite. But and we also and do bathrooms. People go, I didn't know you did showers. Yeah, we we do. do showers, bathrooms. Custom showers, custom bathrooms. Sure, baths. utility rooms, yeah. you know, we do all of it. Awesome. And, and awesome. we do the installs. <laughs> we do the install. And, and yes. they do we them don't correct. Just you the material, we do the installs. And you're not going to have to install it two years down the road. And if you're a DIY, DIY kind of folks, we can sell you the materials. We can help you learn how to do mm -hmm. it. Right. We give you uh, free coaching on what to do if you're going to do it for yourself, especially in showers. We want to see people put them in correctly so that they're not having to redo them because of water damage later on. We'll teach you how to avoid those problems. Yeah. Scoot a little closer this way. If you notice in your monitor there, your yes. face is getting I'm, cut off. I'm about to lean in a little bit. Yeah. I'm, I'm, up against, I'm yeah. up against the rail. I'm good. There you go. okay. that's, that's looking good. That's better. We're all friendly today. <laughs> We're all friendly. Okay, that's all. You covered yeah, all the online yeah. stuff. Yeah. Where were we? Nice from? Sheep. Sheep. Where's the world come from? Well, we'll throw in there that about for centuries. Well, I, I, well we can that, talk about that meant where, Brit which British. country. Sure. That's what I meant. Okay. Pharaoh. Okay. I'm ready if you're ready. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Welcome back to the Floors to Go Texas show this Saturday night. We are ecstatic that you're joining. Remember, you can go out 121 like you're headed to Fort Worth. Look on the left-hand side. Do that little U-turn around there. Okay. Walk in the in the showroom and say a room without a rug is like a kiss without a hug. Farrell is going to give you an 8x10 wool rug. Or you can reach out to him at 817-710-7030. Again, 817-710-7030. Email him at radio at floors to go dot com now Theral VJ Dana you're raising your hand floors to go Texas Texas dot com okay um, but but let's talk about wool okay and the types of brands uh, where wool originates from and if you know anything about it I, I, I kind of have an imagination you know um, but you know I should have been a sheep herder <laughs> <laughs> Because you have the long stick, <laughs> and it's very quiet up there, and you got little bells going. But there's different strands of wool. Talk about that. So, uh, well, wool is actually grown all over the world. Yeah. Um, for carpet, uh, primarily wool is raised in New Zealand, um, which would be where uh, all of the wool used in Fabrica carpets originates. And uh, it's a great climate for it in New Zealand. There's also British wool, which is a good quality wool for carpet as well. Mm -hmm. But that is uh, primarily used for more commercial type applications. Uh, the British wool is very strong, but it's not quite as soft. And so in a commercial application, you're not typically walking around without your shoes on. Uh, so the softness is not quite as important. But in your own home, you want it to not only have the strength uh, for the wearability, but you also want it to be soft mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and feel good on your feet. So that's why we primarily use uh, wool from New Zealand for uh, for our residential carpet. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to move to New Zealand. A trivia, a <laughs> trivia fact I was told, I don't know if this is a fact, but technically it's uh, that the sheep outnumber the people in New Zealand. Yeah. Really? <laughs> wow. um, I, I, I've, I don't know anything about your industry and I'm learning right now, but I find it very interesting um, that your, your manufacturer, your, your plant is in California, not Georgia. Correct. And so, uh, interesting, uh, uh, that's a whole nother show there, but this high quality New Zealand wool that is, you guys manufacture your rugs with. You can put how many colors in them? Well, it's really unlimited. Really? Since we do the dyeing ourselves. And does that happen in California? It does. 
that right. happens right there at our mill in California. Uh huh. I bet you can make roads for the Queen of England. Don't you? For for example, <laughs> let me just say this um, because I mean B, BJ has a wonderful, beautiful line. <coughs> I have other lines of wool carpet in our store. We we, we carry what I call medium and better goods. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, most times you go into your uh, regular flooring store, they're not going to show you wool. Or they're going to show you a very small selection. <clears throat> and, why, uh, why, Daryl? Well, because they've already made the decision for people that they don't want to sell a good quality product. Well, they may not be educated either. Well, they may not be educated. Well, I know that my competitors aren't educated about wool. That's why they don't carry it. But the, the thing that remains is that uh, wool is one of the longer lasting products over a period of time. As a matter of fact, wool's been around for centuries <laughs> since the sheep. <laughs> since the first sheep was sheared. <coughs> and, you know, ancient people for centuries, if they wanted a rug to go on the floor, it was made out of wool. So wool's been around for quite a while. Typically, BJ. And it doesn't wear out. It, it, well, yeah. I was going to ask you, it, typically if I buy a wool rug for my home, you know, it's going to outlast, it's probably going to outlast the mortgage. It probably will. You're, yeah. you're absolutely right about that. Yeah. Um, matter of fact, when we have people, uh, a lot of people now uh, purchasing the mid-century modern homes and coming in and renovating them, and they're finding the original wool carpet that was installed in those homes, mm -hmm. and it's still actually pretty decent. They probably want to update just because of style and color. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is that, uh, I'm just thinking of, I'm just thinking of, if you did have that situation, can you pull that carpet up and clean it and re dye it? No, I don't believe Don't so. do that, okay. I don't think we do that. Abort that question, yeah. anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's not a good idea to pull it up. If it were designed to be a, an area rug, Rugs are, are made, constructed different. They're woven, and so their backing system is totally different. And unless it was a woven product, you wouldn't normally pull it up because the installation, when you're stretching it wall to wall, uh, requires you to have uh, additional materials to get it cut off. So technically, it wouldn't really work to pull it up and clean it. You clean it in place, yes. Uh, but what I was so one of the other points I was trying to make before we let BJ uh, expand a little bit more about our company is that I have competitive companies that do have wool carpet, but their color lines are very, very short. Whereas yeah. they might have several products, their color lines may only be 10, 12, 15 max. She's got color lines in there that have 20 and, and 28 and 30 colors. I mean, and plus the fact that, that their, their company will do custom colors. I think that's pretty pretty awesome mm -hmm. to be able to, to when mrs jones just cannot find the absolute color she wants they will actually custom color it and i'd like for her to talk a little bit more about that yeah go ahead bj sure so um especially with my background as being an interior designer we're really picky about the exact shade of the color or the exact color so uh many times I'll have, well, sometimes even my boss will laugh because I'll be like, well, that isn't the exact right shade of beige or taupe that I want. Um, and he doesn't really care. But, uh, but for those who do care and are concerned about that and have an eye for color, that exact shade is very important for the overall look uh -huh. to, be, um, you know, to be finished and to be nice. So we're very cognizant of that in uh, our offer the custom colors just so we can get that very specific shade. Yes, sir. Text. We have two questions from online. Uh, one, tell us what sets fabric apart from others. And second follow-up question, a different person. Do you have a vacuum that you recommend? Well, you want me to take both of these? Sure. Okay. So what sets Fabrica apart from others uh, really truly is our quality and our style and design. Um, as I mentioned early in the show, uh, our quality is just truly second to none. And all you have to do is take a look, come into uh, Floors to Go showroom, take a look at our carpet, and you'll be able to just visually tell um, the quality. We could go, I could go into details that you don't care about and you don't want to know about um, as to what makes it that way. But our product is dense, we don't skip on yarn, we use the finest manufacturing techniques, we use great quality materials. Um, so it's just a really high quality uh, product. Um, 
in regard to vacuums, um, we typically uh, recommend the vacuums that are recommended by the Carpet and Rug Institute, um, which I mentioned before. Uh, that's, I believe it's CRI.org, but I could be wrong. You could just Google Carpet and Rug Institute and find information from them. Okay. Um, but they actually test vacuum cleaners and uh, then they recommend vacuum cleaners that pass the testing. In general, you're going to want a vacuum with a wider wheel, um, so it'll actually sit on top of the carpet, and you're gonna wanna make sure that it has an adjustable height and adjustable beater bar. Great information, Great. Great. I did not know because that. you shouldn't use the beater bar, is that correct? Um, it's better not to use the beater bar, or at least to make sure that the beater bar is at a high enough setting that it's not damaging your carpet. Yeah, yeah. There are a few vacuum cleaners that span at too high of uh, RPMs <clears throat> that are not good for uh, stable products. I'm fixing to have to go to break. Okay. But I'm really impressed with the colors. And, you know, um, one of the things that if I was doing a custom, we have a great company on this show, Jack Anson Homes, and I'm telling you, the great floors that you guys put in, knowing that you had the ability to put a custom color-coded rug on top of those great floors, I'm kind of pumped about that. So here's what we're going to do. When we come back from break, we're going to tell you about the, the health aspects of wool and didn't don't the airlines only allow wool on the seats of the planes is did i hear that on this show did you heard something like that i did <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll talk that about up. that later by the way Carol, we'll to tell you how much back. i listened to you i recently did a um a flip job and i pulled all my old carpet out and guess what i left the wool no <laughs> I left all the tack. The tack all strip. the tack strips. The tack strips, yeah. Uh, stick around with, with us when we come back more with B.J. Wilson from the company, great company, Fabrica. And by the way, Floors to Go Texas out on 121. You walk in there. Let's give away another rug. You say a room without a rug is like a kiss without a hug. They're at 5212 Airport Freeway. You're going to get a free 8x10 rugs. Stick around. We'll be back in a Willie Scotch. How I long missed was that it because I was typing your other answer. Tell me the right. name of the vacuum again, please. The Vacuum Institute? The, the vacuum Carpet and Inst Rug Institute has a list of approved vacuum cleaners. And the music going there also. Carpet-rug.org. Mm -hmm. Dash rug. Yes. Well, I want to say to thank you again to everybody out there on social media. We really, we really appreciate you uh, watching and listening to us. Yeah, and don't forget we're giving away a Fabrica rug to the first person that comes in and says Fabrica is fabulous, <laughs> and BJ is fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we, we already jumped over 100 before the mid-second nice. segment. So. Fantastic. Fantastic. How long was that segment? What segment is that? We just did two. We're starting three. three. We're starting three. Okay. Segment number three. Yeah. Uh, that was 1049. Okay. Yeah, Dan, if you want to just kind of address the online audience there and just thank them for joining and yeah, the online audience, y'all are coming up with some very good questions, and we very, um, very much appreciate your participation today. Thank you so much. You, you help us uh, make this show. <laughs> you come up with really good questions, yeah. and and you know, once again, <clears throat> a question that you have may be a question that somebody else has, but they just don't want to ask. So, sure. So if you have a question, please type it in, and we will get to it, and we will answer it. Yeah, and if they come into the store. Be sure and tell us, hey, I heard you on the air. Or if you don't want to ask us a question because you don't want everybody to know your Facebook ID, because <laughs> it will come up, <laughs> then you can reach us at radio at floors2gotexas.com, and you can send your questions there. There you go. Yep. Yeah.
in there. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that uh, BJ was able to come over here. We've been trying to get over here for Absolutely. quite a while. Mm -hmm. You know, the wool carpet. <clears throat> Here's the testimony. I was in the carpet business for a long time and never had a wool carpet on the floor any time in my lifetime. And then we put wool carpet, we put some of B, BJ's carpet, the Fabrica, in our car, uh, bedrooms upstairs. And it's like, oh my gosh, why didn't I do this sooner? Mm -hmm. I actually put some wool carpet in my closet because it was a loop. And you don't want to change the carpet out in the closet very often. And it actually feels really good. One thing that I guarantee you, and, I, and maybe I'm wrong about this, but any of the big box stores don't have Fabrica uh, rugs in there. You're correct. Yeah. We yeah. are not available in big box stores. Not available. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm putting Fabrica in my master bedroom, but I'm waiting for they have a new pad that we're going to put in my bedroom. Mm. Nice. Nice. We're going we to talk about that pad. Yeah. Worry. We're going to start stocking it too. Good. All right. We ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Welcome back to the Floors to Go Texas show. I want all of you to rush down Monday morning, down 121. If you're heading towards Fort Worth, look to your left. If you're heading out of Fort Worth, look to your right. And go into Floors to Go and say a room without a rug is like a kiss without a hug. I want to give away 10 rugs this week. And these are $600 rugs. And I've been telling my buddy Thero he had a fever going, but, you know, I guess he's going to go on with that. Uh, let's get it out there and get that done. 5212 Airport Freeway. You reach out to them, 817-710-7030. Let's talk about the health aspects of wool rugs. Wool is extremely good uh, from a health perspective. Uh -huh. um, it's what, One of the things I think it's the neatest thing about it is that it does not supply the nutrients for bacteria or for dust mite to grow. And so if you have allergies, particularly to dust mites, wool is gonna be the best flooring for you. I didn't know that. No, yeah. I, I didn't know that either. Mm -hmm. no. so, um, so children. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, it also, when um, you talk about children, and I always think about this because you want to make sure that your children are as safe as possible in your home. If wool carpet catches on fire, rather than flaming and burning or melting like many of the synthetic products do, mm -hmm. it actually just simply turns to ash. And so uh, it doesn't spread, the fire won't spread through a wool carpet like it will most floor covering. Uh -huh. So from that aspect, it's extremely safe as well. Because yeah. a lot of people die from the smoke <coughs> and things instead of the actual fire. So that's why, I, that's why I remember that about the airlines. It's only wool on the airlines, right? So in, um, in actual airlines, like the major airlines, mm -hmm. there are some, 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 I can't talk today. You started yeah. it off this morning yeah, and now I can't do it. Um, it's rubbing off on people. <laughs> um, there are some synthetic fibers that are used um, only in those, uh, in the primary aircraft. There, a, a lot of it is the same fiber that actually firemen's like suits are made out of. Uh -huh. But in the corporate and the VIP aviation market, um, yes, wool carpet is used in those applications and that's strictly because of the way wool burns and the fact that it does not create a lot of smoke. Well, well, did not know that. Yeah, so now I know. Uh, so, um, health-wise, good product. Absolutely. Quality-wise, great product. Absolutely. What about stains? Yeah. What about stains? A oh, lot I mean. of people are, um, I think, have a misconception that wool is difficult to clean. Uh, we, the nylon product that we manufacture out of uh, is primarily Stain Master, which is a brand name that many people know. Um, it is a stain and soil treatment. I call wool nature stain master. I like it. Because <laughs> I like it. <laughs> wool does exactly the same thing that essentially mankind has copied uh, and created the, uh, in the nylon product. When you have a liquid spill on wool, it's going to just beat up on top of the carpet. And that's because of the structure of the wool fiber. 
And so it gives you time. Now I'm not gonna tell you that wool will never stain because if it sits there for three weeks before you do anything about it, it's gonna create a stain. But what it does is it gives you time. So it beads up on the surface and gives you time to respond to that. Mm -hmm. Typically you can just uh, clean wool with water. Um, I, a few months ago, <laughs> had an encounter with a moth in my house and spilled red wine all over my wool rug. <laughs> uh, and I was able to get um, get the pro get the wine out of the rug just using water. So So blot it. Yes, absolutely. Thank you for using that word. You want to blot it, you don't want to rub it. And occasionally you are going to possibly not get the stain all the way out just with blotting it with water, but you can always call a professional carpet cleaner to come and handle that for you and they'll be able to get things out that you can't do on your own. So that and would be Dalworth. And Dalworth. That would be Dalworth because I, I can tell you this, uh, a lady friend of ours uh, has a wool rug, a wool carpet, excuse me, installed wall to wall in their family living area and um, they uh, they have always used uh, Dalworth and uh, she gets it cleaned on a regular basis, and they have a little puppy dog. It's a little Chihuahua, <laughs> and so uh, they have been quite comfortable with the product and just love the product. And, and it's uh, we go over there, and there's really not any stains involved in their in their house. So I'm going to get on my soapbox here for a minute. Please do. <laughs> okay. If if there's if you have carpet, whether it's wool or not, the best things that you can do are vacuum regularly and make sure you get it professionally cleaned every 12 to 18 months. You'll be so much more pleased with your product if you do that, no matter whose carpet it is. Jesus, kind of like changing the oil in your car. <laughs> yeah, you gotta take care of it, you know? <laughs> take care of it, right? Correct. Um, there all, you guys, I don't, I, I don't wanna send a message out there that you only do carpet. There, the, the store does lots of stuff when it comes to the inside of a home. Go through that real quick for me, sir. Well, yes, and thank you for bringing that up. And basically, if it goes on the floor, we do it. We, we do uh, engineered hardwood floor, nail down sand and finish hardwood floors. We do uh, uh, ceramic tile and porcelain tiles. We do stone. We can remodel with your showers. Uh, we do kitchens. Uh, we can do uh, countertops. Excuse me. We do. Uh, we sell and install everything that we sell. We can we can install and service. Uh, we also uh, carry something uh, that's really not new on the market, but it's a really hot new product. is called uh, luxury vinyl tile or LVT, resilient vinyl. Now this is not your grandmother's vinyl. These are new products that have commercial. Some of them have residential and commercial ratings. Uh -huh. on yeah, there. yeah, yeah. Uh, they look beautiful because they're embossed and stamped uh, for uh, for the grains and woods to make them look and feel as though they 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 have the the look of hardwood floors, and those are good in certain applications where uh, moisture and pets could be involved, and so and we also do commercial flooring. So that's a whole other <laughs> that's a whole other show and a whole other division. But we also do commercial <coughs> products as well. So. My, my quickest answer is if it goes on the floor, we do it. I, I want to point out to the listener, not only on social media, but here on the air, that Fabrica is not in the big box stores. They will not put their product in there. It is a quality product. And our buddy Theral Williams over at Floors to Go Texas has every one of those colors. It can set you and your family, your home up in the Fabrica wool rugs did i say that right that's correct roger that Marie. he carries our entire line yeah yeah good how you reach him 817-710-7030 yes sir tex i wanted to just say that uh, we've got a lot of viewers that are coming in and i wanted to say hi to michael karen and ryan who have just joined us here michael karen and ryan good stuff here um talk to me about i really think we ought to talk a little bit about comfort yeah, I know that the wool, the sheeps are raised in New Zealand. I got that. <laughs> and we know how we can dye the sheep's hair to make the pretty rugs. How do you get softness? All those sheep raised in South Texas, where where they come from? So, well, the sheep are raised. You soak the hair, or what do you do? 
<laughs> no, it's just that, as I mentioned before, just like in dogs, uh -huh. Some of the sheep have really nice soft mm -hmm. wool and others have cor more coarse wool. So we choose the sheep, the breed of sheep um, whose wool actually goes in our carpet based on the softness and the strength. And where, yeah, it's probably a trade secret. You probably won't tell me. Where, do they come from New Zealand? Like so they do a certain way? In the, or are they fed a certain kind of alfalfa? Or how are yeah. they fed? It's just a different, the, the sheep just has a different DNA. No. Just like she tried to point out earlier, yeah. you know, between the different types of hair that dogs have, you know, short and kinky or nice and long and soft. They're, they're, they're bred that way. They're, the they're, animals are yeah, bred that way. So, so the wool business is like a science. Right. It is. It, it, it is a science. Uh, for those listening on the air, uh, I'm going to mention this wool fiber. I don't know if Fabrica has this, but it's just one that I know of. It's one species, and it's called merino wool. A lot of people have had a merino sweater. Uh, and that is a type of wool. It's a type of sheep, and it, it has a special softness to it. To a certain extent, it's probably a little too soft for some Absolutely. of the nylon. Absolutely. We don't recommend merino for carpet, but yeah. it's great for clothing. <clears throat> right, right. So I'm just saying that's that's a type of sheep that I know about that has a, an extra soft fiber that, that, that a lot of clothing is made out of. Got to go to break, my friends, at Floors to Go, Texas. Check them out at 5212 Airport Freeway, 817-710-7030. Again, 817-710-7030. A room without a rug is like a kiss without a hug. Get your free 8x10 wool rug. We'll be back in just a willy skosh. Okay, I uh, wanted to thank even more people that are just now still coming in and joining us. Uh, if you like what you're seeing here today, please like this video, uh, share it with your uh, other friends that may be thinking about flooring or whatnot. If you like the Facebook page or even our YouTube page uh, and subscribe, you will get a notification when we go live uh, each week uh, on Mondays. However, this week we're going to have two more shows. Look at that. There, there's people liking it as soon as I said like. Thank you very much for all those likes. Ooh, look oh, at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's really <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Kristen. So, uh, th so once again, if you if you subscribe to the Facebook page or even if you subscribe to the YouTube page, uh, you will receive a notification when we start going live. And, uh, oh, appreciate the uh, the loves on there, too. That's even better. And uh, <laughs> see? Uh, so you guys are seeing it across the screen. We're seeing it across our monitor. And... Uh, <laughs> And Dad is Dad is having a good time. It looks like we, 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 we've got over 146 people that have joined us, so this is really awesome. Nice. Uh, and great if, show. They, if they come into the store or when they come into the store, please tell us that they're listening to us, heard us. Uh, that just makes our day. It makes my day. So. Yes, thank you very much, folks. I really do appreciate you uh, joining in with us. And it's, it makes us, it makes it real exciting here in the studio for y'all to be with us. And uh, once again, if you have a question, you have a statement, please type it in. We would love to air that statement or uh, question on, on air because many times people on the air uh, and out there in uh, the social media might like or might be interested in the very same thing you're interested in. Sure. And I'd like to give a shout out to Kristen Mangus who just said howdy to us. Uh, also sent us a big heart. <laughs> Thank you, Kristen. Uh, and and I'll also pin her that say uh, she is a designer uh, who has a Facebook page of Good Knit Kisses where you can learn about uh, yarning and and uh, and, and weaving. Nice. Uh, it's a very nice channel. Uh, it's over there on YouTube as well as uh, Facebook, and she's giving me a smiley face. Now. <laughs> <laughs> well, let, Thank you, Chris. Let, let me let me say this. Kristen deals with wool yarn, and this happened several weeks ago, maybe a month or two ago now, I can't remember what, which, and she was telling me about these uh, leftover yarn balls that she makes, and they're about the size, a little smaller than a tennis ball, and she had wound them up, and she says, I use these in my dryer, and I said, and it's wool, okay, mm -hmm. so my, my, I don't know, I just wasn't thinking, and she said, I said, why would you use these in your dryer? And Kristen said, wool absorbs water. It's like an air conditioner. So mm -hmm. it actually makes the air, it conditions the air because it, it draws the moisture out of the air. She says it actually helps your dryer work more efficiently 
And uh, she says another benefit is that when you put these these wool uh, yeah. balls in the dryer, <coughs> it yeah, keeps your sheets from sometimes getting you twisted. Now, every once in a while, sheets will get twisted in the dryer for some reason, and she says it prevents that. But it makes the dryer work less time, so you use less energy. That's, oh, that's, that's a cool. neat tip. It is a neat tip. Thank so you, Kristen. You, you, and you think about it, if you had wool carpet down in the house in the summertime, uh, your air conditioning system is designed to pull water right out of the air. Well, so does the the mm -hmm. uh, wool carpet. It'll it'll pull the moisture down into the and and holds it until it's time to be released when the uh, the humidity changes in the room. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Yeah, absolutely. So this is the next segment. We have how many minutes? We have nine minutes. I need to wrap up at seven and a half. Well, if you can make it go 10, you have 175. You might jump over 200 for the first time. Well, I'm going 10. All right. I'm going 10. All right, here we go. Y'all ready? We're going 10. I don't care what happens, Keith. Okay? At one time, I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to push the limits here. All right. All right. Here we go. Thank you, all your Facebookers. Thank you for all your social media gurus. We're going to educate you about carpet. Stick around. Y'all ready? Ready. Three, two, one. Welcome back to the Floors to Go Texas show. Let's give away a bunch of these rugs during the week. R a room without a rug is like a kiss without a hug. Tell them you heard it here on 570, the great 570, K-L-I-F, with Willie and the great Theral Williams. Over 40 years in the business. And Padna, I'm telling you, if you don't think he can help you out in your home, so you two years down the road don't have to do it over again, Think again, 817-710-7030, 817-710-7030. You know, one of the great things that you do, Theral, uh, is you give a 60-day guarantee. Yes, sir. A 60-day guarantee is to make sure the customers are satisfied with what they buy from us. Mm -hmm. We don't want to just sell somebody a flooring and them not be happy with it. So we actually have uh, a, a, in our in our... If we do our job at Floors to Go, we should be asking you a lot of questions and we should be trying to help you find the proper product that fits your, not only what you like, but fits your needs, meaning because you have, everybody is different in their uh, need for serviceability on flooring. I mean, for example, a retired couple has a different need than a young family growing, raising three kids and mm -hmm. two dogs. Mm -hmm. but they have a different need and they would have a different style. And so with the 60-day guarantee, you can be assured that whatever we sell you, your satisfaction is guaranteed that if you don't like it, we will change it out. You need to see stores for the details, but that goes for carpet, wood, or tile. And that is something that... 60-day uh, guarantee. That is something, because we are a member of a very large buying group, uh, our buying group helps us uh, do this, and we do it because we want to do the right thing. And we want people to be assured that you can trust us and be happy with what your your purchase. I still think you got a fever. No, <laughs> I don't know what you're thinking, but he's one of the good guys in the in the DFW Metroplex. Uh, remember, do not go to one of these big box stores and just pick something out because oh, I am going to upgrade my home. What you get when you come to the Floors to Go Texas show is information. Knowledge is king. It will help you understand how to do things correctly in your home so that two years down the road, you're not ripping it out uh, and starting over again, causing your budget and your wallet to go overboard. Did I say that right, Theral? Yes, you did. Roger that. Yes. So, um, remember uh, what I took from this show today is that you spend all these money, you, you hear these people out there saying, well, you got really go, low interest rates, now it's the time to buy a home. Go buy yourself a home. When you get in that home, you have to put that home together the way you like it in terms of colors, layout, whatever you're doing. You go to Floors to Go, Texas, and you get a start on that. And that didn't cost you a dime, right? But what B.J. Wilson brought to the show today is that when you're, when you have a certain kind of flooring, when you have a certain kind of backsplash, when you have a way that you are designing your home, 
don't settle for colors that kind of match. Did I say that right, BJ? You said that beautifully. Yeah. Yeah, they pay me to do this, right? <laughs> and so at the end of the day, what I thought was very cool in the flooring products and where you get your wool from to make your rug. Now, I'm not very clear about this, BJ. Is there any limit on, all right, we can't go bigger than eight by 10. What's the biggest rug you make? Oh, God. Oh, we have to be able to be able to fit it on an 18-wheeler. Okay. So I believe, I'm not sure if that's 22 feet or 24 feet in the shortest direction. And okay. then essentially as long as you want it. Really? <clears throat> Time. You get large. How long does it take, if I order a custom rug and I come out to Floors to Go, Texas, at 5212 Airport Freeway, and I walk in and say, I heard this great program on 570 Cliff with B.J. Wilson, and I want to order a rug that my wife wants it to be this color right here. Now, how long does it take? Well, that's a bit of a trick question because we have many types of rugs, mm -hmm. but you're probably looking at uh, anywhere from three weeks would be... That's um, reasonable. Yeah, yeah. yeah to get uh, to get the rug that you want. We can start at three weeks. And then we do <coughs> have some that are actually handmade and they of course would take um, considerably longer. So up to about three months probably. Handmade. Wow. Yeah, yeah, one of the rugs that BJ helped us do a number of years ago was <clears throat> probably the largest handmade rug we, we had done uh, uh, was, I can't remember the exact size, but it's approximately 15 feet wide and probably 30, yeah. somewhere between 30 and 35 feet long. And it was all, it was a handmade rug. Then BJ sat down with our clients very patiently because of her background and because of their flexibility with their, their company. And they were able to, number one, select the design pattern or they can do a custom design pattern. That's correct. Uh, and they were able to, to very patiently select the colors she has these little things called pom-poms. <laughs> they're <laughs> not like what the cheerleaders <laughs> use, but they're little bitty uh, color, color palms that you can be, begin to select these colors before you go to a custom color, if you will. And uh, they do. Then, then when they, everything gets settled, I should be letting her tell this story. But I'm just telling you, we've done that, and she's helped us, and it's a beautiful rug. It comes out gorgeous, and it's a it's a rug made for a lifetime. No question, she's at the top of her class when it comes to uh, putting a rug together. And I have a question for you, real quickly, dear. Yes, sir. Um, you know how you go in there and I want to pick a color out, or I need for you to match this color. Do you have uh, sample fabrics in your store? Uh, this wool is soft. This wool is not so. So do I not only pick my color out, but I pick out the softness and type of wool out too, don't I? Well, you'll pick out um, the color and then you'll, you'll pick out the texture of the rug or carpet. Okay. You won't pick the specific wool, but you will pr uh, pick out the texture. So we have um, looped fibers that are looped over and then we have what are called cut pile fibers where the, the fiber has been cut. A cut pile fiber is always going to be softer than a loop pile, even if it's the exact same wool yarn being used. I see. So I see. we can, um, Daryl's team or I can help with that certainly, but, but there are levels of softness. So really there's more sheep in New Zealand than people? <laughs> <laughs> That's a question for our audience to Google and, yeah. to Google and find yeah. out. Yeah, get that back to us. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you, if you joined us today, I'm fixing to have to come to the top of the hour. Our friends at Floors to Go Texas, a great company here in the DFW Metroplex, out uh, at 5212 Airport Freeway. They really have a give a stuff button on them about educating you, the homeowner, to make the right choices when it comes to flooring products. And each show we do up here keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And Theral, I want to thank you for that. You're, well, you're welcome. Yeah. The, the flooring business is a big <coughs> industry, and there are a lot of varied products because they're trying to meet a lot of color palettes and, and people's taste out there uh, in, the, in the industry. Let me ask you this, BJ. I had such a good time with you today. Will you come back as a repeat offender to Florida Go Texas show? 
You know what, Willie? I try not to offend anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess I, yeah, okay, that's a yes. All good stuff. Now let me just go over some things with you. Make sure you drive out on Monday and get a room, and say a room without a rug is like a kiss without a hug. Get your free $600 value room uh, rug, 8 by 10 from Dana. You're going to walk in there, all kinds of confetti is going to come down, blah, blah, blah. Right? A uh, couple things. Here's the number. 817-710-7030. 817-710-7030. I'm sure you hear their commercial throughout the week here on 570. Great company. Do not go to the box stores and pick out flooring. You're not going to get quality stuff. And that being said, I want to thank all of our listeners for joining us. I'm going to close this hour out by saying, if you've been to the big box stores and have done some shopping for flooring, think about what I'm about to tell you, friend. Floors to Go Texas has twice the space and 10 times the choices. And, you, and they will beat any of the big box stores prices any day you go out there. Go see my friends at Floors to Go Texas, www.floorstogotexas.com. 817-710-7030, 817-710-7030. That's a wrap. I'm your host, and we're out. We'll see you next week, same time, same place.